No, you don't think that. Is that outside? Yes. That's gonna definitely be in the video. I got some now I can call. I don't know what I would do without y'all. I'm a ball to the day I fall. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have my best friend and my boyfriend here with me because today we're doing a boyfriend tag video. Yoroshikun, Minasana. <laughs> What's up everyone? It's good to be back on Ali Chef's channel. And it's nice to see you everyone. Oh, if you don't know what a boyfriend tag is, that's when I ask Julian several questions. Um, usually about me or my personality and he has to try to get as many right as he can. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. Okay. I'm going to start with the first couple questions that every boyfriend tag has. So, okay. where did we meet? Who was the first to say I love you? So, the first time we met was at the University of Delaware's Center for Black Culture. It was at a meetup event, a community meetup event where we talked about issues and stuff. And she asked me out to lunch after that and I said yes and that's when it all began. Shout out to Ryan because I used him. Long story, long story. Um, and I was definitely the first one to say I love you because I'm more lovey dovey than you. That's true. I want to tell the story about Ryan though. I'll tell you. So we started dating because his best friend, Ryan, is a friend of mine. And I told Ryan, I said, I really like Julian, but don't tell him that I like him. Because I knew he was going to tell him. And I didn't want to tell him myself. So I told Ryan, don't tell Julian that I like him. And of course, what happens the next day, he tells Julian. Oh. And the next night, Julian invites me out to go to this party with him. So he knew that I liked him. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So if you're trying to tell a guy you like him, just tell one of his friends. And then tell his friend not to tell him because he's going to tell him. How long have we been dating? Next week will make, well, six days will make it three years. So, almost three years in about a week. September 7th makes three years together. Three years. Three years. This question, do I play Candy Crush? Every night. <laughs> I play We're Candy Crush. We're on FaceTime every time. Every time we're on FaceTime, at one point after 30 minutes, I hear, da 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 Bad. Do I believe in soulmates? Do you? We never talked about this. Wow, ah, let's check this. Huh, no. Mm, no. Because you like Sailor Moon and all that. <laughs> that was such an ugly laugh. You Stop. know what's funny is I do believe people have like a soulmate, but I don't think my soulmate is you. Someone in your past was your soulmate. No, Maybe. Kimmy is like a soulmate to me. Like I just, I always had this weird connection to her. So what do you think a soulmate is? I don't think a soulmate has to be romantic. Am I able to keep my anger under control? Generally, yes. For example, some girl back in college did some messed up stuff to her super out of pocket and it took her to pass the boundary for her to for Ali to blow up and when she blew up she blew up I can honestly say though that was like the one time in my life that I've been that mad am I romantic yes you're romantic and I appreciate that. I feel like I'm not. I... Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just not into cheesy stuff. That's different than romantic I stuff. think romantic stuff is cheesy stuff. No, cheesy stuff is cheesy stuff. Like, I feel like romance is like, you know, like candlelit dinners with roses and violins. Like, I... 
I guess it's an objective question then. That but, is true. Yeah. Am I an introvert or an extrovert? You're an extrovert. What? Rather. No, I'm not. See, I, I was answering that from the frame of mind of relationship because at first we thought that like in the relationship I was the extrovert and she was the introvert. Mm -hmm. But I think that we we learned that we're both introverted, but she's more extroverted than I am. I feel like you are more extroverted than me. In general, yeah. I think overall, I don't know. Maybe we're the same. Yeah. I think we're both introverted, and we choose to be extroverted when we have to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. Do I have condiment slash hot sauce preferences? Yes. Mayonnaise. Mayo is life. I love mayo. Am I confrontational? Not at all. End of story. You really think I'm not confrontational? You're not. Um, you've grown to be more confrontational. Um, as you experience like college thing, it became somewhat of a requirement for you. But if it hadn't been for all of that, I think you wouldn't be a very confrontational person at all. Yeah. Am I a lavish spender? Yes. Or a... What's the other option? Am I a lavish spender or am I a saver? Well, you're both, but you're more of a lavish... You're more of a saver, but you're still a lavish spender at the same time. The thing is, you don't know you're a lavish spender because you get carried away when you go shopping. This is my new apartment where we're filming it in. It was empty when I got here. I wanted her to decorate my apartment for me. She brought up the idea. I was like, absolutely, yeah. We went to the store and we ended up spending over $200 on decorating stuff. Little pictures and little succulents and Because they, they look nice. Am I religious? Yes, very. Christian. You go to New Victory Christian Church. Do I think it's okay for people to vent to others about their significant other? No. Oh, oh, but you do it anyway. Oh, no, I don't. You do. No, I don't. That Legends group chat? No. You ask all of them. I know y'all talk about me. Mm, I don't. That's the thing. Last thing I told them is that I can't wait to marry you. Shut up. Am I superstitious? Um. I'm trying to think. I feel like, um, mm, no. Yeah, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Oh, well, that's just facts. That's not superstitious. That's true. Describe me in three words. <laughs> um, hmm, pretty. Um, anxious and I'm pretty anxious <laughs> <laughs> and caring, I guess. Pretty anxious, caring. What would you say though? I mean, I, I feel like you can't. I feel like you can't describe yourself because other people kind of have to see. But uh, yeah, that's true. Describe me in a single word. Hmm. Trash no. <laughs> <laughs> Not trash, basura. Ah, Holly. That's a cop out, but I don't. I don't know. Basically, you are who you are. I don't know. That sucks. Do I chew on pens and pencils? No. Do I daydream about being on a talk show? No, I think you daydream about. Being a model, or I do, but I do daydream. I do daydream about being on a talk show. Oh wow! I always do it in the shower before bed. But I like celebrating my birthday. Yes, very important to you. I was gonna say no. That's it awfully hard to me. To you because you're my best friend. Okay. No problem. Do I like it? <laughs> Do I like kids as in enough to want my own one day? This is a tricky one. Because you don't like kids, but you be having baby fever strong. Human baby and fur babies. I like the idea of kids when like, you know all the good stuff. 
And then I think about all the bad stuff and then like how much money they cost I and mean, then I don't want them. But one day I know I want to raise a son and a daughter. I love how you put it's always a son. Do you see how you do that? I do, but I know I want a son. I'm just saying like, like I'm going to be happy if I have a daughter. I want kids in general, but I just know that if I have two or three kids, at least one of them I want to be a son. I just think I would be very content with a puppy. <laughs> because I'm just like, I don't want to do that right now. Do I plan to get a pet in the near future? Yes. Oh, in the near future? Oh, in the near, I mean, you plan? We want to get a puppy. Yeah, you've been talking to me about it so much. I think that the only reason why you wouldn't get one is because of me. Because I don't want one yet. I know yeah, I want to co. I want to co on a puppy with Julian, but I feel like we won't do that for like two to three years. Yeah. Do I prefer a small or a big wedding? Big, super big. You've been thinking about this since you were six. You already have a plan. You're just waiting for it. To I feel like you're executed. thinking. Okay, when I say big, I don't think I mean like. Oh, like like not big as in giant like the venue is huge and you're invited tons of people yeah i want the i feel like the at details. most our, our wedding will have like 70 people maybe smaller maybe like 60 to 70 people okay that's not that bad okay she just has like all the details planned to a t i feel like yeah i feel like it'll be big in the sense that everything will be very thought out but it'll be small in the sense that like the budget will be small. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Do I prefer to stay in or go out on Friday night? You prefer to go out, but it doesn't always happen that way. Yeah. I'm always, like the thing is like in my mind, I'm always up for going out. Like I would love to be out with my friends and stuff all the time, but in reality, it never happens. And it's my fault. How can you tell when I'm unhappy? When I can tell you're unhappy, your tone changes, you just, you just get low, you kind of like droop a little bit. I guess droop is a weird word to say, but mope. Like it's all, mope, mope. yes, mope. It's almost like your breathing changes, not like, you, listen you can't to my hear heart it. Rate and stuff? No, like, oh, your just, heart rate lowered, are you okay? No, <laughs> no. mopey. I guess that was obvious when you think about it. How do I... I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, that's a long explanation for you to say. Oh, you be getting mopey. <laughs> How do I cope with stress? Um, lately, you be coping stress by stress eating at McDonald's or Taco Bell. But usually, I think that. Um, you don't work out to relieve stress. No. When I'm stressed, I like to be by myself. Usually when I'm stressed, I write in my journal. Oh, that's right. Or I pray. How long do I need to get ready in the morning? Like 40 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah, you can shower, pick out an outfit, makeup, hair, everything is about two hours. So today took me two hours. That's why I was an hour late. We were supposed to meet at 10, I ended up meeting him at almost 12. So actually no, I was two hours late. If I was a guy, would we be friends? Probably, yeah. I mean, we're already best friends now. I feel like you would still be the same person if you were a guy. You have the same personality and everything. You'd be a part of the legends, probably. No, probably, I don't know. Okay, last question. Mm -hmm. If we got married someday, Where would you take me for the honeymoon? Disney World. That's true. I know because she's been emphasizing it to me for so long. All right, so that's all the questions we're gonna ask today. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can put it in the comment section below. Or even give us some video ideas on what we should film next, because now we have more space to film videos and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.